Hi there Virgo, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 18th of May. The sun has been pushing you to be more experimental, adventurous and groundbreaking in your approach. But there has more recently been a shift of focus insofar that Mercury and Mars are asking you to think more about your role in life. And that's going to step up this week when the sun moves on Thursday into the same area as them. Mercury, of course, is your ruler, and that's what gives you that wonderful precision, the ability to analyse things, to drill down into the details. And that is going to be in a retrograde for three weeks. Now, for you, this could see you thinking a lot about how you connect with the wider world. This can be through work, but it can also be through voluntary activities or even our hobbies. It's more about how other people view us, really. And you'll need to have a sense of validation to feel that what you have to offer can make a contribution is going to be something that really engages you. Now, if you're in a job, for example, at the moment, where you don't feel that you get much recognition, it doesn't give you much satisfaction, you want to take on uh, more responsibility, you can find yourself becoming more goal-orientated. But it's not necessarily going to be a straight line, this process, over the next few weeks. There can be some stops and starts. There can be some misunderstandings, as there often are when Mercury rewinds. But there are some other complex issues too this week. Not least, Venus and Pluto, who go into an opposition from Tuesday. Now for you, it's possible that someone in your circle is a person you have a real crush upon. But whether they're truly available or can reciprocate the affection you feel is another matter. On the other hand, you may be on the end of someone who makes a beeline for you, but perhaps it's not quite right for you. So around affection, particularly romantic affection, it may feel that there's a bit of pressure or intensity. It could be welcome, it could be unwelcome. It depends on your unique circumstances. You may even find that someone at work starts to show a greater interest in you. But if anyone's promising anything or seems to be very alluring around money or sex, you need to think, are they being utterly sincere? That's always the case when Venus tangles with Pluto in tricky aspects. However, from Thursday, once the Sun relocates, it does come up against the stubborn opposition of Saturn. Saturn has rewinded for some while now and it's in the part of your scope to do with your emotions and where you live so in that opposition with the Sun which is asking you to think more about your goals ambitions and hopes if there are any inhibitions deep within your emotional self uh, or fears or anxieties which are stopping you strutting your stuff as effectively as you could it would be a good time to try to unlock these this may come from getting some wise advice from someone who's very experienced and knowledgeable. But at the same time, if you do experience a sense of limitation, try not to be too hard on yourself. Remember what I said, things are not going to go in a straight line. And it's possible that even if you do have these big hopes at the moment, that someone close to you may be poo-pooing them a little bit or doubting them. And a pail of water, and a quite a cold pail of water of that, could be thrown over one of your aspirations by someone who's actually quite close to you, which could prove to be very, very demoralising. But equally, someone at work who seems to encourage you may seem to have more of a hidden agenda where they don't actually see through what they said they would do for you. So watch out for these kind of undercurrents and there could therefore be some games, unfortunately. But if you think a longer term beyond this week, I do think, Phil, once the sun's gone beyond this opposition with Saturn, you will start to gain more confidence and also more determination to get some kind of outlet for your talents or to just feel more respected within the family. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Good luck and goodbye for now.